I thought it would be worthwhile to do a video real briefly discussing a common question, which is to wrap or not to wrap. And this is not an M&M or 50 cent type question, even though context, I guess, is everything. <laughs> but uh, I've had a few people ask me, and this, this is every year, uh, whether to wrap your beehives or not. Once again, this is my advice for Western Washington. It's obviously uh, different in different places. But in our area, I really don't see any benefit of doing any type of insulative wrap around the hives. Actually, I see that probably doing more harm than good, simply because, uh, and this was brought to my attention by a gentleman by the name of Michael Palmer, who has bees in Vermont where you get incredibly extreme cold temperatures. But what he does is he doesn't use insulation. He uses black tar paper or, you know, roofing paper around the hive. It acts as a windbreak, but then if you get the sun out, uh, it helps absorb the heat from the sun and transfers that to the hive body. The problem with insulation is that, uh, you know, insulation can cause moisture issues uh, and can also obviously insulate the warmth if you have a milder day the warmth from being able to you know penetrate through the hive bodies so in our area obviously getting a sunny day <laughs> may not be very common during the winter but still i see wrapping your hives in our area is more of a liability eastern part of the state I would actually probably go with what Michael Palmer does, which is just a layer of the black tar paper, roofing paper around the hive. So that once again, you have that windbreak, but you also have the dark color and the ability for the sun or any heat to absorb very quickly through that paper and transfer to the hive and obviously help the bees. If you do want to put any type of insulation on your hives, I would focus on the top. Um, the, uh, you know, as long as you have a top entrance, uh, oftentimes what I've done in the past is put a piece of plastic directly above the frames and then a piece of inch, inch and a half foam insulation on top of that. And then the lid, if you're using a, um, telescoping lid, you know, that works perfect. Uh, you know, if you're using the migratory type, which we use, then it's more prone if you get a windy day, it can blow off and cause issues. So you probably want to weight it down. But uh, yeah, so if you do want to insulate, I mean, we don't, but if you do want to insulate, I would focus on the top of the hive, not on the sides, because you're going to have issues with that trapping moisture and also insulating the milder temperatures out of the hive uh, when we get those. So hopefully that's helpful and uh, we'll catch you again.